Hello everyone! Today, we'll be doing another showcase. Starting off, well, we're going to be using Horatel Chara. Now, first things first, I have a weapon here. If it upgrades, it does 99 damage. With upgrades, it's 110. And when I hit an enemy with health, I gain 3 health here. Next up, I have a blind. Every 18 seconds, I can blind Sans for about 2 seconds. Then, my Dark Aura. If a 12 second cooldown, while my enemy is in it, they get slowed down. Unfortunately, it also slows the users, not the best. Chocolate here heals 18 health over time. And then for my final move, I have fly. I just kind of click on a location on the map and then fly over. So, pretty simple overall. Now, I'll quickly kill Horatel and we'll go to the next character. And now, for the new Sands. For our first move, we got this little orange uh, pumpkin juice. If an enemy walks into this, they'll get slowed down to the point of being completely paralyzed. And because Sans can stand in without any issue, it's pretty useful. Then for our second move, we have four pumpkins that will slowly spin onto a single point, and then when they reach the middle, we'll detonate. For our third move, we have Pumpkin Rush. In a large area, an absolute ton of pumpkins will land, all exploding. For our fourth move, we have a rush of a bunch of bats just going across the map, they don't deal much damage, but they're there. And finally, we have a couple of homing pumpkin shots that will detonate when they're finished chasing the enemy. And now, you're gonna notice there's an absolute large timer. It's a fair amount shorter when you don't have phase two. When you have phase two, this happens. Now for our first move, oh wow, do you see that? That little glow? That's actually pretty cool. Our first move, we have more homing shots. It looks like a quite a few more. Each of these will detonate as usual. Then for our next move, we have an absolute ton of these pumpkins slowly going on to a single area before detonating. For our third move, we have a bunch of spiders. These will home in on your enemy on top of a bunch of bats flying in. This is probably a great way to slowly wear down your opponent, but it costs a lot of stamina. Then another present rush, except it goes all over the map. The original one has a much smaller area. Wax Wave, an unavoidable hit that will slow your enemy, so that probably means it's a jar of wax for that. And then Curse, via Curse, I can get Curse of Attachment. I think there are other Curses, but for Curse of Attachment, I use it. And I'm not sure what that just did. Huh. Alright, Curse of Blight, or Blind. This one, I believe, makes the enemy team have trouble seeing. Alright. Alright, according to this fellow, the Curse of Attachment will cause you to take damage your teammates do. The Curse of Blindness semi-blinds the Chara. And then Curse of Confusion. This one you can see. It causes a bunch of other versions of me to pop up. I'm the only one that takes damage. And with that, we're done. I hope you all enjoyed this little showcase, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.